Today's Cobb highlight is about the redesigned Subaru Jesse downpipe for a whole bunch of EJ models. The previous versions of this downpipe have been some of the most popular and effective products in Cobb's history. It's always been a great downpipe, but we still managed to find several ways to make it even better. So I'll run through the entire thing from end to end and talk about each design component to help educate those that are totally new and also point out some of the awesome improvements for those of you that are already familiar with the old design. First on the top end, we start with the bell mouth that bolts up to the hot side of the turbo. This part actually hasn't changed because it was already awesome. It's a cast stainless piece that naturally matches the flange of the OEM turbo, but will also fit most of the commonly used stock location upgraded turbos. There are a few ways to design this part of a downpipe in relation to how exhaust flows from the turbine and the wastegate and exits the turbo to proceed through the rest of the exhaust. We really like this open bell mouth design, which we've consistently used because in our testing, it creates an excellent boost response with minimal exhaust flow restriction or turbulence and introduces the least amount of potential flaws or failure points that can occur when manufacturing or over time once it's installed and exposed to the elements and various heat cycles. It also provides a nice way to add an aftermarket wideband sensor via this O2 bung, and it gets the Cobb logo in there all in one process. The last detail on this bell mouth that I think often goes unnoticed is the way that it actually connects to the main pipe of the downpipe. It has this interesting wave shape on the cast portion instead of just a straight cut like you'd normally have when sticking two pipes together. The pipe slides inside and having this wave shape means that there's a lot more surface area when welding. So as you go up and down and work your way around, that creates a stronger bond and it looks kind of cool once it's all done. Moving on, we have a 304 stainless steel mandrel bent pipe that makes up the main portion of the entire downpipe. And that brings us to the first and probably the most important of the major updates. This Cobb only version of the 300 cell Jesse catalytic converter. Jesse is a company owned and managed by real enthusiasts who love cars and tuning just like you. And that's a big reason why we are working with them. Making power doesn't have to come at the cost of emissions control or avoidance of the laws that regulate it. This specific cat was co-developed by Jesse and us and only available on Cobb downpipes. It's been proven to be efficient enough in terms of both flow and emissions to allow for use on a streetcar without needing to disable ECU codes while still being capable of making over 500 horsepower at the wheels. And some of you might have already noticed the part that comes right after the cat. No more two and a half inch taper. I know a lot of folks will be really happy about that because on the old design, the portion after the cat tapered down to a two and a half inch flange diameter so that it would bolt up to a stock or a stock fitting cat back, which meant that you needed an adapter to make our downpipe fit an exhaust with a three inch diameter at the flange. But that's all gone. It's a full legit three inches all the way. And we include an adapter for those of you that still need to neck down to the two and a half inch flange for their current exhaust. And speaking of the flange to the catback, another very cool update is this all new awesome cast flange. It's a form and function improvement. It allows for a much better welding process because it has this step design so the pipe slides into the flange and allows for a lap weld across an even material thickness that produces a stronger and a cleaner finished product. It also has much less risk of warping and fracturing. And I can't forget that we have these high quality multi-layer steel gaskets, which are much better than the old graphite ones. And the last but very clever and helpful adjustments that we made relate to the fitment. A good downpipe should just bolt right in, but every car has a different life and it's not always as smooth of a process as you'd like. So to get rid of that frustration, we made two very subtle but hugely helpful changes. First, the flange, adapter, and gaskets all have slotted bolt holes. So you have a good amount of horizontal adjustability to get everything lined up without the risk of any leaks. And second, there are these little guys. I absolutely love bees nuts and you will too. But seriously, the B stands for Brian. He's our shop guy that came up with this simple idea. The cars that use this downpipe have spring bolts that allow for some flexibility in the entire exhaust. That's a good thing, but it can also be a pain in the butt to get the threads to start while trying to compress the spring when doing an install because the bolt just barely reaches the nut. So B came up with the genius idea of making these little nuts have a short extension so the threads reach further and you can get it started without any tension on the spring. These guys are awesome. 
Phew, that was a lot. We changed a ton of stuff on something that seems to be a pretty simple part at face value, but every single update had a practical and significant reason that we're really proud of. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that I genuinely think that it is hands down the best downpipe that you can buy off the shelf for a Subaru, period. So head over to CobTuning.com and snag one for yourself.